So, hello guys, welcome to Legit Tribe, thanks for tuning in, and today we are uh, doing our first farming simulator series, which is Irish grass farming. So, in this series, what we're basically going to be doing is we're going to be mainly using big um, high-end machinery to cut a whole lot of grass, and we're just going to see how much money we make. We're here at um, Greengrass Farms, which is um, based on a cliff. So as you can see, there is a sheer drop over there down into the town. So we're pretty centralised here, but uh, it is a three generation farm, so I'm the third generation here. Um, over there was the old farm, so it was the uh, first generation. Um, but then s my um, dad, who uh, went off to another farm, uh, built this sh uh, shop and also this here is part of the old farm but still might be useful to us in our journey. So this here is our only bit of machinery at the minute. It is a s uh, our main work truck. It has got a tank that we can put liquid in and uh, I put a lift kit on it and golden rims just to be flashy. And uh, Normal farmers wouldn't have that but here at Greengrass Farms I quite like being a wee bit flashy with the machinery and the colours and stuff. So we're just going to make our way down here to the shop, um, or should I call it the de dealership. Um, they apparently specialise in Case, John Deere and, um, oh what do you call that brand? It'll come to me. but. Um, Apparently they're very good, but the only thing I've heard is they only really stock uh, high-end machinery, which won't be really be a problem with us, but it was a problem with other farmers in the area that wouldn't have such a big budget as us. But the reason why I have £2,779,000 is because that money was handed down to us and I sold my other farm that I had. So hopefully we can get some good quality machinery with that which will hopefully help us make a lot more money in the future. So, uh, yeah, there's the dealership there. They said it's only open, so it doesn't have too much stock in it, but hopefully I'll we'll have enough that we can buy. So if we head on in here. So if, um, obviously, if you enjoy this series, let us know by hitting the like button. And if you want to subscribe, uh, it would be great help to us. We just love making these videos anyway. So... Let me see, I'll go and talk to this guy. Yeah, 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 I know what you mean. Okay, I'll go and have a look, thanks. He's let us um, have a look around the tractors. He says they're all unlocked and we can just have a look. So I think I'm gonna go and have a look at the John Deere's first over here. So he says he has everything from a 7R to a uh, max out 8R to the 8RX, which is their prime tractor. Now I'm thinking I might like a we go in the 8RX just as our fancy tractor. So let me see. We will fold that back there. And we'll just close the door. And we'll take her for a spin. So this, uh, this is one of John Deere's best tractors. I don't think it is their best, correct me if I'm wrong. But I think it might be nice for the farm. An 8RX, it has got the tinted windows and the bigger tracks. So we'll take her for a spin here. So, oh, it's got quite good power to it. Um, but let me see. Radio package and. Yeah. Okay. I'm kind of liking this thing. Um, yeah. Okay, we'll see if he can do a deal on the 8RX and uh, 8R. Where's the catalogue? I think I left it in here. There we go. So, I will check out the price on the 8RX, which is over... I said it was near the end, so it's a bigger tractor. So, 350 thousand pounds and then he was I think he was saying um that he could do it for three hundred and fifty thousand. I think it is a wee bit more than that because of the spec on it, but he says since 
we're going to be buying a few pieces of machinery. He'll give it to us for 350000 So I think that deal is secured. Now, he was send the 8R, which is back here. Since it was the uh, the most maxed out one, it cost him about fifty. But it cost him more than fifty thousand, more than the base price, which is three hundred thousand. But he will sell it to us for um three hundred and eighty thousand pounds. Uh, since there are so many things done to it with the wide tires and interior packages, so I think we'll buy that off him. Now we do need a cedar as well, so we'll go over here and check out this here. Now this you might think is oversized and we haven't even bought a field yet but I'm thinking um, since we're gonna be trying to be the most the biggest machinery we have and go overkill on it I think this will be perfect so he's selling this package here for let me see he said if you look at both the packages um, let me see if I can remember it so it was it was about 440,000 for the tractor and then I think it was for the cedar I think it was he was selling it for 375 475 so together that comes into about nine hundred thousand pounds for that so I think we're gonna get that there and the two tractors and also I think we're actually gonna pretty much clear them out here I think we're also gonna get the sprayer, the trailer and the charge harvester so I'll be right back and hopefully by then we will have bought the stuff we're also gonna pay him later on so um, we can just drive away with it now let's see in a minute and we're back yep that uh, is done. I'm going to pay him the next day, he says, just so the check can go through my account back to his. Uh, so I think we're going to drive some of the tractors back now. So I think we'll start with a Pride and Joy, my new 8RX. So we'll go there, put the steering wheel for it. We'll just head up to the farm. So I'm just going to move all this machinery up and then we are going to. I'll be right back when it's all done. And welcome back. So we just about got all the machinery in um, back at the farm. Um, I still need to get charged for it, but I will need to go and see the bank tomorrow about um, making sure because they're so secure because um, obviously it's a big transaction and they don't really want people stealing my money. So it's always good that your bank's more secure rather than less secure. Oh yeah, this is the farm. I will give you a little tour around it. Um, so we'll start off at over here. This building is just a derelict building. It um, it um, never gets used, and I'm not planning to use it. It's just really, it's a bit grim to be honest. Um, it used to be used for storage of um, hay, but um, these buildings here um, have rotted away and rusted as well on the roof. I don't think I'll be using these, but I don't really want to spend the money to get them removed. And I don't think they look too bad. This one here was part of the new farm refurbishment. So actually, I think it will use it because it's handy for trailers and stuff like that there and storage. So when I've just got the sprayer in it, the arm sprayer. Over here is my house. So obviously we've got a log fire. I don't just have that for decoration. So we can um, have a look at it here. So it does need a good tidy because all my my family stuff still in here because um, I just bought it and came down here. So some of the old stuff still in here. So it's pretty messy if you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, it is pretty nice. We have got grass around it. Over here was an orchard. My, the first generation started this because they wanted to make money off apples. So these do uh, make me some money um i have a guy that comes around and picks them but um they don't make all that enough um they do need watered and sort of put manure over the top of them over here's just our sort of sewage for the place and fresh water tank 
Um, and then over here, which I want to know uh, you guys' opinion on it. Um, this here was the first farm ever built, so you can see oh, it's a bit weedy over here and that there was the old farm building. I want to know if you guys have any ideas for what it could be. Oh, and also, we had a big problem here a while back where everything just mounted up, so I'm going to need to get a digger and replace that because there was a big sinkhole and then it took away half the shed, so that's why I don't have any um, machinery parked over this side, but it's not way that bit down. It does have a steel beam over there. Oh, it goes down. So I was told by the inspector that it should be fine. But anyway, we are going to buy some fields now, which will be interesting. Um, let me see. So, at the minute we are on field uh, 13, I think. No, 12. Um, so, I'm thinking I might buy field 7 and 4 for the grass. Um, so, if I go there and buy that. I go there and buy that, so now that just went over and now I own it. It's not leasing it or anything. I do own it. So the green patches on my iPad are where um I own. So let me see. I think that'll be pretty good. So I'm thinking we can get the cedar out and in the next episode we can have a good um seeding session with it. With that cedar there. So I did get all the machinery back, so like we have the big X here. I just hop in here. So it is a really nice forage farm, so I really like it. And obviously, I have got the head on it, which is always handy. So, um, but thanks for watching anyway. Um, there will be more, plenty more episodes to come where we start planting because um, it's spring and we better get it skits on because soon it's going to be summer. And then we want our grass to be growing in the summer so we can cut it because it'll be growing nice and fast. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I will speak to you later, and hopefully see you in another video. See you.